School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Real Agriculture is joined again today by uh, Daryl Walker from Indiana. Um, and Daryl has just done a presentation on growers reaching 250 bushels per acre. And he really feels that there's another 100 bushels per acre to be had in the right management system. And one of the key aspects that you focus on is soil tilt. Tell us about what growers can do with better soil tilt. Well, my presentation, I used Star Trek as the theme and, and Spock as the character to portray that. And basically what I'm saying is that soil tilt is the final frontier of getting to a high yielding corn area. And I believe that we've already thrown over most of the other stones, you know, those being, being fertility, those being um, hybrid, those being chemicals. But the one a thing that growers have not made a lot of progress on is soil tilth. So I call it the final frontier because if we can just figure out how to improve the tilth of our soil, then we can unlock that last 50 or 100 bushel of yield increase. And some of the ideas that I presented there are like planting cover crops that grow over the winter that improve soil tilth and soil structure. Um, another idea is just basically being very careful with the number of trips that you take over your field. Going from tractors with duels on to using tracks, because one of the main issues that we see is that any time that we make a trip over the field, when the soil is wet, we're causing um, long-term soil compaction and we're compacting a fine textured soil to the point where it won't adequately develop a nice root system the next year because to get even to a 250 bushel yield level, we have to have a happy, healthy corn plant with a normal functioning root system. And when we ask a corn plant to grow in a compacted soil, it's not able to expand its root system. It becomes unhealthy, just like a person would be that's living in an environment under stress. Corn plant in a compacted so soil is under stress. So we have to relieve that stress by providing the perfect soil structure and soil tilth uh, for our corn crop. And so I do think that the pre pre prevention of compaction is one of the main issues there. And it's about, again, developing a mindset, mindset that I'm going to protect my soil from compaction by having the discipline to not make trips between harvest and planting when the soil is wet and I'm going to limit those trips or I'm going to do them when the soil is dry or when the soil is frozen. And I want to limit my spring trips to maybe one pass because if I do more than one pass, then I've just gone out there and I've compacted that soil again and pushed it right back. And I call that the unending cycle of soil compaction. And to really get to this final frontier in tilth, we've got to figure out how to reduce the soil compaction from our wheel tracks. And you talked a couple of things, other things about, you know, the need for fall tillage, inline in ripper tools. Talk about some of the other things. Well, one of the things in the corn on soybean production system that we can do is to use an inline ripper tool. And what this tool does, it has a deep straight shank that penetrates 12 to 14 inches down in the soil. And the purpose of that tool is to tear up a plow pan or any compacted layers in the soil and allow the roots to, to penetrate all the way down the subsoil. Because most tillage systems, whether you're using a mobor plow or a chisel plow, there will be a plow pan at the depth that you're doing most of your tillage. So the purpose of that tool is to shatter that plow pan and allow the roots to, to continue on down. Now, it only works if the soil is dry. We, we, we should not be doing that operation when the soil is wet because it only smears the ground and it, then it won't accomplish what you're hoping to accomplish. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was the need um, for fall tillage corn on corn. Yes, in a corn on corn production system, which is becoming more popular all the time, you know, driven by the high corn prices, we, we really need to be doing some different things to get that corn stock broken down faster in the fall. And so it starts with basically selecting a hybrid that's, that's more adapted to your area so you can harvest it early enough in the fall that we have some warm season left. So if we can get that corn harvested, say, in September instead of October, and then we can 
apply some nitrogen, either ammonium sulfate or urea to the ground and immediately till it in and chop up those corn stalks into little pieces. Then we can feed the microbes that are still present in the soil and start decomposition now rather than waiting till the next year for the soil to warm up to begin that decomposition process because one of the things that hurts yield in a corn on corn system is all of our nitrogen that's consumed by the decay of last year's corn stalks. Well, great insights, Daryl. Thanks again for joining us today. Thank you.